There is something called logos of a society. This is something that is a machine, a motor that drives societies forward. A collective of ideas, political, societal, religious, ideological, that is contained within the noosphere of the human kind. Now there is something about the logos of the Western civilization with Greek or Roman grounding tainted by Judeo-Christian systems of theology, morality, and so on, so on. Now this so-called Western Christian civilization logos was compromised in the first part of the 20th century. As one scientist from the Smithsonian Institute mentioned, the Logos was compromised and lost all its pretense to morality, ethics, ethos, whatsoever, by bombing Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Unnecessary bombing, as the veterans perfectly knew. By creating Nazi extermination camps, the apotheosis of Western Christian civilization, Judeo-Christian, to add. Now, often whilst you have people on the right-wing spectrum that try to associate themselves, to reassociate with this dying zombie corpse of a Logos, they think that by doing so, they can protect themselves from the onslaught of real politic, of the global noosphere, which is quite a mess. Yet some know that to reinvigorate societies and the logos, like in the Renaissance, it is necessary to move back to the ancient times, to the nobilitas, to the heathen, non-Abrahamic, pagan values and virtues. And that all evil sprang from the Levant, with the Judeo-Christian treason in the form of this Galilean guised in the form of love, that turned into cannibalism, manslaughter, and genocide amongst all. Abrahamic religions, Judeo-Christianity, and later Islam, built by Judeo-Christianity as a social engineering tool to conquer the Arabs and to include them within the belief of one Jewish God, led to terrible consequences throughout history, led to terrible rot and infestation with belief systems and theologies that were illogical and that were protested even in the first, second and third century as completely irrational and illogical. It took 2000 years to prove that Judeo-Christian belief systems have any form of arguments that are not contradictory within themselves, and they still didn't manage to prove it in the albeit secularized age. Now, the theology of the nobilitas was built on temples as colonnade, as arguments. There were hypotheses, and you need to reach a conclusion. Like among the Hindis of the ancient times, the philosophers, the Brahmins met in order to discuss the finest point of philosophy with high-pitched minds in order to arrive at the conclusion of the divine. Now remember thus, that when real politic of the current societal strata, belief systems, mediocrity, shallowness of sewers comes for you, Christian boys and girls, your praying so-called that is ignored, your claims to anything, thinking that if you commit yourself to the religion, the blind faith of the Jews and Christianity as a consequence, you will be of any worth to heavens. Your prayers are unlistened to, they are ignored. Now what was the nobilitas or pagan mode of comprehension? that if the universe, if the gods and providence, e pluribus unum, are intelligent and they constitute intellect, you need to use your intellect and 
multiply intelligence by intelligence, toughness by toughness, virtues by virtues, heroism by heroism, commitment. Now the model of the Chinese hero was that it is someone who lays foundations for the civilization to last in eudaimonia, in happiness, in order, in force, power and beauty. It is not about proving one religion over another and slaughtering yourself mid-term. All evil sprang from the clogged, filthy waters of the Levant. And to Levant it will return. There is all Invictus. May the providential gods assist in this run of events. And as for Judeo-Christianity and Islam, all forms of mutations of this Abrahamic invention, keep Europe pagan, because above it was always so. Below, was poisoned by religions, the gods were never turned to demons. They ignored you, Judeo-Christians. If humanity decided to turn their faces away from the great providential divinities, it was their decision. If they decided to pursue a path of blindness, ignorance, delusion and attachment to the weird belief systems of the Levantine creed, they were warned not to. But they picked their own path. So, they harvest what they have sown. Non galmesh, heli gigi, sandisks and serpent entwined wings.